Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are in the city of Newark, Ohio. It's about 35 miles east of Columbus, and we are here to visit the Dawes Arboretum. Now this is my first time driving through Newark, and my initial thoughts is I like the setup. Basically on every corner there are traffic circles, and for a city this size, it makes the traffic move really smoothly. It's actually a very nice day today. We finally got a break from the heat wave, so I thought today would be the best day to go out there and check out the Arboretum. Uh, so as always, thanks for coming along. Let's go check this place out. Now what exactly is an arboretum? According to the dictionary, an arboretum is a place where trees, shrubs, and herbaceous plants are cultivated for scientific and educational purposes. The Dawes Arboretum was established in 1929 by Bayman Dawes and his wife, Bertie. The idea for an arboretum came to Bayman during his youth in Marietta, Ohio, where his father's lumber business supported the family. In 1918, Bayman Dawes purchased 140 acres of the old Brumbach Farm in Licking County Township. The farm known as Woodland offered gently rolling hills and several acres of mature trees native to central Ohio. Bayman felt that the farm was well situated. It was located practically in the center of the state with diversified soils and good climate for hardy trees. The family renamed the farm Dawswood and the brick half century old farmhouse became their country home. By this time, Bayman and Bertie Dawes had passed their love of nature onto their four sons and daughter. Dawswood served as both a retreat from the family's East Broad Street residence in Columbus, Ohio, as well as a place to pursue their horticultural interests. It was Bayman Dawes' aim to inspire people to plant trees. He planted trees at Dawswood, striving to obtain specimens from all over the world that would survive in central Ohio. Now what's really interesting is running through August 25th of this year, uh, the Dawes Arboretum is actually showcasing an art exhibit by David Rogers called Big Bugs. And this is basically a traveling art exhibit of giant insect sculptures made from natural forest materials. And you can get a map at the visitor center and see where they're all located, but they are basically scattered 
all over the ground in the Arboretum. And you can find these insects kind of to where their natural habitat would be. Like I found a giant dragonfly by a lake that you'll see later on in a video. Uh, also found a giant spider in a big huge web. So yeah, that's something fun to do as you're walking around, um, trying to find all these different things. Now I did actually stand behind this ladybug just to show you guys a perspective of just how big some of these sculptures are. They can get pretty big. Now, fair warning, get ready to get your steps in because this place is expansive. Continuing on, by the time the Dawes Arboretum was founded in 1929, over 50,000 trees had been planted and the grounds had doubled in size to 293 acres. Bayman and Bertie Dawes created the Arboretum as a private foundation to encourage the planting of forests and ornamental trees to give pleasure to the public and education to the youth. The Dawes Arboretum's collections include over 5,300 different types of plants, with more than 15,400 plants on the grounds. To ensure the continuation of the Arboretum, Bayman and Bertie Dawes established an endowment fund. The endowment fund continues to be one of the major sources of funds for the Dawes Arboretum, which has grown from 293 acres to nearly 2,000. This was the red brick country home that the Dawes moved into when they bought the property. It is a museum now, but you do still have to arrange for a private tour for someone to take you around. Um, it is locked, so you can't just come here and go inside. And also be aware that no photography is allowed inside the museum. This was one of my favorite places here. I'm sure it's a favorite for many people that come and visit. Uh, the Japanese garden.
the Japanese garden continued on to this area and this place was really nice. Very calming, very relaxing. I basically just sat here for about 30 minutes after I filmed all the things that I needed. So yeah, this place was great. So here we are at the Red Barn Reserve. It is another destination point on the map of places you can go see. Here there is a Red Barn that you can hike to. It is locked up. I don't think it's ever open. I wasn't able to go inside it. Uh, there's a little wetlands area and there is also a bunch of trails that you can go and explore. So again, just another place to go visit. It is pretty far from the visitor center. It might be one of those places where you have to get in your car and drive here and explore. I did walk it. It is pretty far. It's about, I guess, round trip. After I did all my filming and walking, it was probably another 5,000 steps on my trackers. So you can walk to it from the visitor center, but it's, it is a long walk. Now here is the pine forest. I was a bit surprised watching this back on the edit because the camera basically lightened it all up. When I went in here, it was pretty dark. It was almost like it was uh, dusk, like the sun was just setting and it was pretty dark in here. So um, it looks really nice here, but I wish it would picked up how dark it was in here because it was a little bit more, uh, I thought a little bit more eerie, but very nice in there. Okay, back by the visitor center. Let's get back to the car and do the auto tour. Okay, so Dawes Arboretum is 2,000 acres. So it's pretty large and the best way to probably see most of it is through this auto tour. There are plenty of uh, stopping points to go see and explore different areas of the Arboretum. This is actually how I found the dragonfly and the spider web from the Bugs exhibit by David Rogers. I happened to just stop 
at certain places and they were there so yeah this is a great pl way to kind of see the entire place this road kind of just takes you on a big loop around the property until you get back to the visitor center and the exit There was a tower here with great views that you could climb up, um, but I was exhausted at this point, so maybe next time. I saw a lot of people taking pictures of something here by the lake, and that is where I discovered the large dragonfly from the Traveling Bug art exhibit. Shortly down the road, I found the spider with the spider web. Again by artist David Rogers, his art exhibit, Big Bugs, here at Dawes Arboretum until August 25th. Breaking up from our life as we know it If so 